this is the site of uh, Yumikor Hoboken, uh, which is a site of Yumikor Precious Metals Refining. UPMR is the natural partner for uh, Yumikor Recycling Solutions in the uh, collection of end-of-life batteries from electronic devices. Indeed, the electronic scrap dealers are dismantling computers and mobile phones and uh, they also remove the uh, batteries in these uh, devices. They can then ship them to Hoboken where uh, we have uh, put a warehouse in which we can store batteries, consolidate enough volumes and ship them then to the Hoforce plant. It is for us a hub for uh, the battery collection in Europe. Today, Yumicor Recycling Solutions is offering the best available technology, offering an eco, green, clean and sound recycling technology. Hallo, met Gila van Damme. Hi, Ricardo. that we have a close look for battery recycling because Yumicor is not only taking back rechargeable batteries for their recycling, but we are also producing precursors for the cathode materials for new battery applications. Mainly uh, rechargeable batteries are coming to UFOS from yeah, all around the world. But I would say that the two most important markets are Asia and Europe for the moment. However, we have already set some collection points in North America, in South America, and we are also working in Africa right now. This plant has a 4,000 tons per year capacity. When I mean 4,000 tons of rechargeable batteries, so lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, and their production scraps. So, what we are actually doing is mixing all these different materials to make the burden preparation. At this stage, the dirty off gas from the process is going into the backhouse filter. In the backhouse filter, all the volatile components will be collected. The off gas coming out from the battery smelting will go first into this mixing chamber. Into this mixing chamber, what will happen is a reaction between the hot gas coming out from the plasma torch at 4,000-5,000 degrees Celsius with all the dirty gases. What's important is that within this temperature we will not be able to create dioxin or furans or, or other dangerous hazardous volatile compounds. Uh, moreover, inside this post-combustion chamber uh, we have a residence time of about two seconds that will avoid any dioxin or furan formation. Valis comes from easy valorization. This means that we have a process where we can handle uh, difficult wastes, which may be hazardous, like batteries that may contain plastics, organics, and so on. And we are able to recycle them in a very environmentally green way. At this stage, both metallic and oxidic phases will be tapped out of the furnace at 14-50 degrees Celsius. In the metallic phase, we can find out all the different metals that were initially in the rechargeable batteries.
battery recycling plant in Ufors is unique due to the fact that we have a zero waste process. The alloy coming out from the battery recycling facility in Ufor, Sweden, is shipped to Holland, Belgium, so it can continue with further refining. Afterwards, it is being dissolved in acids at the plant here in Holland. These uh, dissolved metals are then submitted to a hydrometallurgical process, which is what is happening here. We are separating in this unit the copper from the nickel, from the iron, to keep, at the end, a pure cobalt chloride solution. This cobalt chloride solution is then used to produce pure cobalt oxide. By 2012, the European Union set the goal that almost 25% uh, of the batteries put in the market they should be collected and recycled. So honestly speaking, I think that with Baleas we can play a major role in recycling those collected batteries in an environmentally friendly way. You saw all the advantages and what we can do with an end-of-life battery. We recover the metal. This metal is endlessly recyclable. Remember, every battery you recycle, you save 70% on CO2 emissions, 70% on energy consumption.